Greetings, global citizens. Special greetings to our Commonwealth Youth Forum International Youth Task Force. Working with you at Global Citizens, they are in New York preparing for our Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in London next April. It's great to see the actions you are all taking towards ending extreme poverty by 2030. I made two pledges at last year's Global Citizens Festival. As Secretary General of the Commonwealth, I promised to work alongside our 52 member countries, our 2.4 billion people, for a polio-free world, and to make reform of gender discrimination laws a priority. One year on, we are close to ending polio for good. The disease is 99.9% .9 eradicated, one final push will consign polio to history. We need vaccination for every at-risk child in the Commonwealth. Next, we need to focus on the deadliest killer disease of all time, malaria. 90% of Commonwealth people live in malaria-affected countries. Commonwealth countries account for two-thirds of the global population at risk from malaria. That's why mobilising efforts to rid the world of malaria is a priority for our Commonwealth family of nations. And there is another scourge we must tackle. Sexist laws that discriminate against women. I've now set up a Commonwealth Office for Civil and Criminal Justice Reform. It will accelerate reform of unjust laws and help make our societies more inclusive and more equal. Let's work together to level the law. No more polio. Malaria, no more. Gender discrimination ended. Commonwealth goals. Let's do it together.